Hello everybody, this is Dave Raposa, and today I'm going to show you how to apply textures in Photoshop. So let's see, I'm opening up a smooth stone texture I got off of cgtextures.com. They have like a ton of uh, resources there. You just have to register your name and you have full access to everything. Oh, well, actually I'm opening up a fabric texture right now. Stones afterwards. So anyways, I'm going to drag this onto the image I'm working on to apply to his jacket and pants. So hopefully it'll make it a little bit more realistic and give me a good ground to work off of. So right now I'm changing the layer I just dragged onto my drawing to a soft light layer. And that's like the uh, layer style, which is in that little drop down menu. And yeah, as you can see, it, it just went and uh, matched my values basically. I mean, you can adjust it with the brightness, contrast, but yeah. Anyways, now I'm erasing out the parts I don't want the texture to affect, which is just the skin and whatnot. And, uh, yep, this is just 100% layer opacity, soft light layer style. So it's a little drop down uh, menu on the layer box when you click on the, the layer that the texture's on. You can just change it to soft light. And I use soft light because it doesn't really affect it uh, too much. It's not like an overlay or anything. And then I just adjusted the uh, layer opacity right there. And I'm erasing it out of the shadows because you can't really see too much detail in shadow. And uh, yeah, let me zoom in and show you. See, it affects like that. It makes it a little, you know, a little more real. And once you do that. Um, you not I mean you're not really gonna wanna have that be the final step, you know, you don't put that on top of everything. You're gonna wanna paint over it, integrate the uh texture into your drawing, because if it just looks too cut and paste it it just won't look uh it won't look that good. It looked pretty obvious that you used it, so yeah, just paint on top of it. This is just a really quick example. You know, just to blend it in with your painting, make it look like it was just a step and not the final thing. So, yeah. <clears throat> Just still painting on top of it. And as I, was, as I was saying before, it just helps to sell that, like, the denim on this guy is actually denim. So, you know, instead of me using, like, a custom brush, which I could do, I just used a fabric texture. And, yeah. I mean, you could learn how to paint denim really great, but this is more for work, you know, you have to sell that it is what it is, so it's a quick way to do it. And I'm adjusting the brightness and contrast, because throughout the image, uh, you know, I play with my values a lot, make sure they're popping and whatnot. So there you go, that's how I apply it to the denim. So now I'm going to show you how to apply a texture to a finished image. So uh, here I am, I opened up a uh, just a portrait I did a while ago and I'm going to open up the stone texture, the smooth stone texture I got off of that website and I'm just going to pull it on top of my image change the layer style <clears throat> after I transform it to fit I'm going to change the layer style to soft light again so there I am, soft light so as you can see it adds a whole uh, texture to the image now I'm adjusting it to match my values of my actual image, so I turn the brightness down a little bit, and I turn the layer opacity down. I think it's like 27% or something like that. And just erasing out the parts I don't want the texture to affect, so the skin and whatnot. Or you can leave it on the skin. I know guys like uh, Alexi will do really cool stuff and like apply it to the whole image and make it look like it was, uh, you know, it was hand painted or something like that. Which, uh, this isn't the only way to do that. You can do that with like special layer types, which I'll show you in another video for sure, because there's a lot of cool tricks you can pull to make things look realistic. I mean, look like a real painting in a you know quick and easy way. So here we are again. I'm going to show you how to use a mask with it. So I just applied it to a flat color layer, turning it to soft light. And there you are. As you can see, it just affects the, you know, color layer. 
makes it look cool. And I just turned on the layer mask, which is the gray rectangle with the white circle in the bottom of the layer box. <clears throat> and now what I can do is select between uh, black and white and draw the uh, textures in and out. So I'll show you how to do that. So you have your stone layer, soft light, rectangle with the white circle, click that. Double click the white square next to your layer image. And the layer mask display options, press OK. And you're going to want to make sure your colors are black and white. You can press D on the keyboard to set the default colors, which is black and white. <coughs> and then Switching between those colors, you can erase out the texture or paint the texture back in. That way, you don't lose it in case you made some adjustments that you you know you didn't want to mess up. <coughs> but anyways, yeah, that's a quick and easy way to apply texture to your images. Uh, I hope you got something out of it, and I'll keep on making these videos. And hopefully, I'll buy a better mic so this doesn't sound like total crap. And again, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos or tutorials, just let me know on my blog. It's at www.daveraposa.com. You can just leave a comment there, and I'll be sure to get back to you. And uh, thanks for watching.